Good morning. It's been a while since I popped on. I've been very busy parenting and taking care of some business and trying to get words on a page for my next book. I just want to say uh, it was National Paperback Day a couple days ago, so my book is still available everywhere. Barnes Noble, Amazon, local retailers have it now, um, especially if you're in the Charlotte area. And uh, I'm also still free on Kindle Unlimited and I'm going to probably keep that that way at least until the end of the year. So if you want to have an intuitive healing session at your hands, fingertips, so buy it. Real Not Perfect, How to Become Your Happy Authentic Self. What do I wanna to talk to you today though? I wanna talk about the difference between being an intuitive healer and a psychic. You go to a psychic because you want to know something. You want to know what's coming up, what you should expect if you're like struggling with a situation. I mean, like who doesn't want that kind of information? I would like it too. But when you come to a healer, it is means me, an intuitive healer like me, it means that you are ready to dig deep and heal the shit that's not working. Get over the patterns. Like right now, um, we were coming out of the COVID fear on the planet and it's resurging. And um, I just, I talk about this with clients too. Like once you get over something, you become used to it, right? You get used to something and then you learn to get over it and then you reach back for the anxiety that you used to have. And when you reach back, um, you're recreating that trauma, which is kind of what I feel like is happening in the world right now. So remember to be compassionate towards people, like, Let's all get out of our houses. I really need to take a dance class. Like, um, I started coaching my daughter's tennis team, um, co-coach with another woman because on um, the school team, because I just didn't like how it was done last year. And I think it's ridiculous to tell children, especially in middle school, that they're too old to try a sport and that they have to be at an expert level to be part of a team because you can still learn new things when you're young. So um, I would like to be part of the paradigm shift there. Where do you want to change and make an impact in your world, your life, your bubble? Let me know.